So really quick follow up to my previous video. Uh, this is the RT uh, R820T USB dongle hooked up outside this time with the factory antenna. And uh, this is what I'm getting for the ADS-B hits right now. I'm uh, tracking multiple aircraft, no problems. Uh, I've got three good hits that I can uh, that I can get the information on the aircraft, no problem. This is working quite fantastic, actually. <laughs> quite impressed. This is just the factory antenna just sitting outside on the back deck. So, um, yeah, give it a try can't go wrong for uh, under 20 bucks factory antenna no problems so I'm gonna see uh, time to build a, a little bit better antenna and see where this lands but uh, if this if, if this goofy little extendable antenna just it's a mag mount so just stuck to the patio umbrella can can get this kind of range we're looking uh, most of my tests with this antenna, I'm looking at about a hundred kilometer to a hundred and fifty kilometer range. It seems to well, actually I haven't given it a chance outside. I might go there's another hit popped up at about the in between the hundred and fifty and hundred kilometer range, so uh, <laughs> it's just pretty impressive. I uh, can't believe this for the price. Uh, you can't fail. So check out my other video for how to set this up. This is the the ADSB scope two point three. Uh, 2.6 actually and uh, yeah just running on the laptop no problems uh, in a couple of seconds I should be able to get some more more information on this aircraft down here but uh, it's already populated over here and uh, we just picked up another one so we're tracking 11 aircraft altogether uh, four of which with uh, good to excellent flight data coming in with just the factory antenna pretty impressive uh, can't believe it <laughs> pretty neat and one last edit just because uh, this is still with the uh, stock antenna and we're up to 17 aircraft being tracked now that's pretty cool I, I have to say that's I'm pretty blown away by this so anyway uh, make myself an antenna and uh, see how far I can push this but uh, so far today it looks like the limits rate about 200 kilometers for the factory antenna and that's at ground level with all kinds of building around me and whatnot. So pretty sure it would do a hell of a lot better with a good antenna and maybe get a little higher. One last shot for this video. There's an aircraft spotted. Uh, see if it'll focus. There he be. Almost a direct overhead pass. And that one shows up as United Airlines 1451, cruising at uh, 36,000 feet. And uh, doing 372 knots and squawking 2076. Anyway, uh, I'd say that's pretty cool. There he is. Uh, I did find him one more last thing before I close the video. Um, I found a way to get things a whole lot more accurate. What I did was go into the AD ADSB Sharp, and being as how it was made by the SDR Sharp, uh, something I overlooked frequency correction, parts per million. This value I have from the SDR Sharp program, this is where you fine tune your offset for the dongle being uh, not quite bang on. So I, I took the offset that I had in the other program and plugged it in here. And uh, at that time, it was a little while ago now, I quickly picked up oh, about, um, I'd say six or seven more hits uh, almost instantly. And I started getting uh, a lot better data. Um, right now, actually, that might have actually closed instead of, yeah, it closed instead of minimized. So. Uh, I was pushing a heck of a lot higher frames for a little while there, so uh, it worked really, really well, all things considered. It was a, a quite simple overlook. Uh, I should have caught that sooner, actually, because I knew better. But it uh, looks like it doesn't remember the value, so I'll blam it back in here again, and then hit stop, and then hit 
it start just to make sure it took and uh, we'll see what this does but uh, yeah we'll uh, let it crank away and see how many other hits I can get tonight thanks for watching